That thing looks so sick. Oh my god. Nobody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure in this video there's gonna be a lot of hate because people just don't like the fact of gutting good interior. I don't have anything to say against the hate of that other than people don't see potential while you're doing something. My plan is not to keep the car gutted, not to keep it like that, but for what I want to do, I need to get rid of all the interior, start from scratch. My build process, how I've always worked on anything, Oped, my bug here, I strip everything down to nothing. And I go from scratch to know exactly what I want and where I want it. I don't like building on top of what someone else has done or what a factory's done. Bug here was completely a junkyard shell. It had nothing in it at all. Doors from a different year, the hoods from a different year, fenders or fiberglass, they're widened. This one's widened. The only thing I used is literally like, the actual body of the car and then the pan the interior has nothing at all stock in it i did the headliner myself um no back seats it's a cage kits are made by me and my friend robert the door panels are different everything in it is different i like that race car feeling and um that's really what i'm going for but this one is more of like a drag car this right here is gonna be like the ultimate like drift car and you just look in it, it just looks badass today should be the day where i have everything out of the inside and we're gonna get started Check it out though. We got I got all that tar stuff off. It took forever. Got the door card off. Those ones are off. Headline is coming off right now. Got my side all cleaned up and gutted. I got my door panel still on, which I should probably be taking off too. Um, I was gonna take the dash off today, but I'm gonna wait until the flocking stuff comes in so I can do it all in one day. Cause I don't want to ride around with the dash for too long. But I also want to weld the bar across and make my dash easier to mount so it's easier to take off and on. Cause I know it's probably gonna be a mess behind it. Then I'm also gonna go by and delete everything I don't need out of my harness like I did on the scooter. Just so it's completely like way less wires. And I want to know this car inside to out. I seriously cannot figure out how to undo this damn clip, dude. I said screw it and I literally cut the thing because I cannot get this clip undone. Look at that. There's a lot I gotta take apart, man. I just gotta figure out that situation up there, too. I just had a brainstorm. I think what I'm gonna do is actually strip out the whole sunroof and then make it where my sunroof just, I can pop it in with like four latches, and then I can take my sunroof out and then pop it back in if I want and then like latch it in. Pretty sick, and that way I can get rid of all this and not worry about the motor and all that wiring as well. I want to go as simple as I can as possible on this car with like no electronics and make it like really my own. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. The sunroof still works, so we're golden. This one I have to strip. I'm gonna have a bunch of wires are hanging for sure. I got a lot of wires to strip. I'm gonna follow them all down to the harness and go down and just strip them like that. So that'll be a video. Probably when I have the dash off, I'm gonna go through and do that. It's gonna take a few days, but it'll be worth it in the end. That's where I'm gonna leave it for tonight, but that's, uh, I still have this piece on. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that, but I got everything else out and um, it's getting there. I wanna make the dash out and I wanna put a bar across and weld it in and mount like tabs on it that I can easily access the dash on and off because I wanna make it like where everything's tucked behind it and make it super easy to work on. I'm uh, debating on what door cards to get, but I want all black ones with like the jet tags as door handles and then just everything super simple and clean, seriously. Okay, I'm stoked. I finally just got these speakers hooked up to my MacBook, which usually I've been bumping this radio, but it sounds really bad, and I can't choose the song because it's a radio, but now, this is too quiet, and now I just got speakers. Today, we're working back on the E36. I know this video started off with taking out the headliner, but today I'm actually gonna remove the dash because I ordered some stuff, and I'm gonna be flocking my dash soon. If you guys don't know what that is, it's when you like basically flake suede onto your dash. Um, I have it over here, but you're not going to be able to tell without me opening the bag. So you cover your dash in glue and you put all the suede in this little like combustion thing and you sprinkle that all over your dash and then it flakes your whole dash in suede and it looks super badass. You guys can also tell the bug is no longer in the garage. Um, I kind of got booted out of the garage because my dad has a new project he's working on right here. As you could tell, 
this thing is a fucking beauty. But it's chopped up, I can tell that. And it's bagged, and it looks sick. Friendly cars. Um, sadly, my bug's booted, and it's on the side yard now behind the gate. Also got this mark over here, back there. And so now I've been going back and forth on the idea of possibly just getting a garage like shop with the friends and everybody like has their own spots in the garage and we kind of all just chip in and pay monthly for the garage and I think it'd be kind of cool to have our own garage set and that'd be like the real golden garage and we'd have like a, basically a drift crew being built out of there and then um, we'd have Ray in there with his E30, Daniel in there with his E30 and BMW 2002 build, my E36 and then my buddy James is picking up an 81 Corolla. Besides that, we're gonna get to work on this BMW and we're gonna pull the whole dash out today. That way tomorrow when the glue shows up, I can go ahead and start with the, um, the flocking process and get it all ready. The glue showed up. Just Flock it. I think, I think I have to take my steering wheel off because I can't even get this gauge cluster out or get the dash stuff, so now it's time to take this stuff off. Oh my gosh. You got, that pla you got the plastic piece off, right? Yeah, I just did this gauge cluster clip and it's like super, super complicated and it has like a little hinge that goes around and I was sitting there trying to figure it out. Just pop this hinge off and now it's out, so I'm gonna go around and get all these. What you laughing at? Just as I was expecting, I knew this was gonna be harder than I thought and um, I knew it was gonna be a lot to deal with. So currently now, I am uh, removing my steering wheel and everything else. And then I could work on the dash. But you can't even get the gauge cluster out with the steering wheel on. Disconnect the horn, then you disconnect your airbag. You gotta lock the steering wheel. And then you grab whatever ratchet this is and a breaker bar, and we'll break this thing loose. After you very sketchily get this uh, AC like thing off, you're gonna come in here and very sketchily get this screw out. Damn near impossible, which I'll probably never ever put in again. Holy shit. The dash is off. <laughs> It's that simple. Look it. Holy crap. I think I might as well do the wiring while I have the dash off since I'm gonna be getting rid of the sunroof too. So it looks like this might be off for a little bit longer than I thought, but it looks like I won't be driving this for a few days. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and get started on doing this. That way it can dry overnight and flock this dash. Definitely, definitely want to figure out an easier way to put it in when I put it back in the car. Because that was not fun. That's for sure. Well, I think I'm gonna call it a night with this because it's dark and it's kind of hard to see. So I'll come back to that tomorrow. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do about all that shit yet. I also realized I fucked myself because I took off the steering wheel with the wheels turned. Fuck me. Now it's gonna be hard as hell to get the wheel on straight. Now, I'm about to do the flocking to my dash. So the first things first is you're gonna take your your uh, glue here and you're gonna steer it up, open it up, and once you apply this to the dash, you have 15 minutes before it's too dry to do the suede stuff. So right when you coat the dash, you wanna grab that stuff and start flocking it all over the dash. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some in this can first. I'm using a funnel just to make it simple. Maybe a funnel isn't the best idea for this stuff. It seems a little thicker than I thought. I just flocked the whole dash and it looks freaking sick, dude. It's all Alcatara suede now. That thing looks so sick. Oh my God. So now we gotta come back and figure out all this mess tomorrow. Um, I might go through some of the wiring within the next few days, I think, and just kind of strip everything because I'm also doing something for my sunroof. We let this dry for 15 hours anyway, so um, I'll just catch up with you guys tomorrow. 
but I'm gonna start a new video tomorrow because I know tomorrow's gonna be a long day. So I do see one giant bubble right there, which sucks, but I mean, what can you do, you know? Be other stoked on these videos. Make sure to leave a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.